I'm Sarah Gore and welcome to Open House NYC. This week we're all about Manhattan living, including memorable homes, chic design, and imaginative architecture, along with the colorful personalities showing us around. But of course we couldn't do a show about Manhattan without featuring a townhouse. So this week I'm coming to you from this stately neo-Georgian style townhouse right here on the Upper East Side. Elegant, entertaining possibilities abound. All across its over 7,400 square feet. With areas like the grand parlor or the formal salon and this sun splash dining room. To say nothing of the European style eating kitchen with direct access to the serene garden. One of three outdoor areas. And when you're ready to turn in, there are six bedrooms, including this luxurious primary suite. We are getting started at a memorable full floor duplex in West Chelsea with friend of the show, Steve Gold. He takes us inside one of the city's most distinct buildings, designed by architect Jean Nouvel. Inside, we are treated to over 11,000 square feet of luxury, glamour, and views at every turn. Hey, I'm Steve Gold, and welcome to 111th Avenue. We are here on the 17th and 18th floor in one of the most architecturally significant residential condos in West Chelsea. This is the largest condo offering in the entire downtown New York City market. That's over 11,500 square feet, seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a beautiful duplex with crazy views. And this place, it does not skimp on style. This is a Chelsea spin on Hollywood Regency and glamour. Pritzker Prize winning architect Jean Nouvel created this masterpiece and dubbed it the Vision Machine. And it's easy to see why. With 32 different sizes and shapes of windows, all tilted in different directions, each window provides a unique perspective of New York City. And what better place to enjoy this vision than a living room with three exposures, sunrise over the city and sunset over the Hudson River. With so much space, you have multiple seating areas and the most incredible bones you could ask for. Light, air, views, and water. When you have a place like this, you're gonna wanna entertain. And what better place to entertain than this open concept kitchen? From the stainless steel countertops to the double oven, double wine, double fridge, I bet it's double the fun. And off the kitchen, the most romantic and picturesque dining setting in the entire city. I mean, think about it. Sitting here for a wonderful dinner party with your guests overlooking the Hudson River with the sun setting directly in front of you. And the reflective light off the crystal chandelier doesn't hurt to set the mood either. Now talk about sweet. This primary suite has over 2,000 square feet of private space. And what grounds this suite is this incredible bedroom. I mean, look at this expanse, this curved wall of windows. I can't think of a more peaceful place to rest my head. And nothing says West Chelsea, Hollywood Regency than your own glam station. Wham bam, thank you glam. And the perfect complement to a luxurious primary suite is a deep soaking tub. And with the privacy, the space, the views, this is one of the most incredible primary suites in all of New York City. I hope you enjoyed this tour of downtown New York City's most glamorous and largest luxury condo. I'll leave you with the video. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we explore the collaboration between architect and owner at this Gramercy Park Beauty. Welcome back everyone. Now we are at this pre-war landmark building in New York's exclusive Gramercy Park neighborhood. This home was the result of the creative collaboration of architect Jonathan Dreyfus and owner Lee Manners. 
Together, they skillfully incorporated the home's original architecture into something brand new. Take a look. Hi, I'm John from CDR Studio Architects in New York City. And I'm Lee Manners of LMA Group. Welcome to my home in Gramercy Park. My wife and I selected Gramercy Park because of its central location. This building is pre-war constructed in the late 1920s. This apartment had previously been a doctor's office and was in terrible disrepair. It has great bones, 24 foot high ceilings and uh, stained glass, but most importantly it's elevated above Gramercy Park so you really feel like the nature of the park is part of your living room. One of the hidden challenges in New York renovations is how to accommodate for a lot of storage without it becoming an overbearing feature in the apartment. Near the apartment entry on the upper level is a very flexible space that's mostly used by my wife and I as an office, but it has a Murphy bed, so it doubles as a third bedroom when the need arises. You're giving away all our surprises. The panelization of all the doors allows you to open and close the space to leave it open the majority of the time unless someone's staying in the room, so all the spaces feel connected. The living room is where we spend most of our time. The wood floor continues into the living room, but we decided to recess the carpet into the floor. The inset rug creates a room within the room and it brings a lot of warmth to a space that again connects to the park as kind of a, a nice nurturing area to relax. Entertainment was certainly one of the objectives when this apartment was designed. So there are certain elements like the built-in bar that adds a bit of sparkle and reflectivity to the space. He's even invited me over a few times. Yeah. The two-story space behind us is obviously one of the prominent features of the apartment and we had this chandelier made by a glass blower. He selected the glass based on the colors in the existing stained glass window. The stairs is the connector, both visually and in terms of circulation, but the stair also acts as a storage unit, essentially. Some of them you touch on and doors open, others you touch and drawers pop out. And the secret powder room. I love the look of people's eyes when they see the powder room tucked underneath the stair. Right, yes. The dining room has, in terms of furniture, one large glass top table, and it's surrounded by simple leather chairs. Underneath the stained glass window is a built-in bench, which doubles as a kind of larger gathering space for a larger dinner. It's all kind of built-in and integrated and connects back to the stained glass window. One of the things I always strive for when renovating an apartment is a close collaboration with the design team and the collaborative effort here could not have been any better. When I come to visit, it seems like I'm visiting two old friends, both Lee and the project itself. Thank you for visiting my home. The hunt for a new home got you down. Well, coming up after the break, I joined Kirsten Jordan in the East Village to see how life in New York's notoriously tough market may just get a little bit easier. We'll be right back. Welcome back. While we all love New York City, finding a dream home can be a challenge, to say the least. Fear not, friends. City Snap is a brand new app created by New Yorkers for New Yorkers to make finding a place to live a little easier, whether you're buying or renting. Sounds too good to be true? Well, I joined my colleague and friend Kirsten Jordan in the East Village for a look at why City Snap is key in finding that new home. here in the East Village. Oh, I didn't even know that there was a botanical garden right here, so you learn something new every day. Well, that's what's so special about this, is that you're like in the middle of the green. I, mean, I hate to admit this because I'm a New Yorker, but I don't know much about the East Village these days. The East Village is amazing right now. There's restaurants, there's coffee shops, parks, and super cute blocks like this. It feels like you know a lot about the East Village because I sell real estate down here, but for somebody who doesn't know a lot about the East Village, there's the CitySnap app, which has a ton of information about what's going on in the neighborhood, listings, restaurants, commute time. Whether you're a buyer or renter, you can find anything you're looking for on the CitySnap app at any price point. 
Okay, so what kind of places can you find in this neighborhood? There's pre-wars, there's modern build, there's condos, there's co-ops, all within a few blocks of where we are right now. So let's just say that I'm looking for a turnkey, top of the line everything, maybe some outdoor space. Can I find it in this neighborhood? If that's what you're looking for, I think I have just the place to show you. Well, let's go check it out. The name of this building is actually La Botanica, which refers to the garden that's across the street. Makes sense. Beautiful yeah. view. And this penthouse is completely custom and different than any other apartment in the building. And this kitchen is amazing, but this is what you get with new construction, it is, right? But usually with new construction, it's not this special. Okay, so tell me what we're looking at here. Give me the stats. Well, what we put into the CitySnap app was three bedrooms, at least three and a half baths, and that's what you have here, plus outdoor space. So using the app, what are the keywords that you search for to find something like this? You can use keywords like new construction, bright and airy, private keyed elevator access, and double height ceilings. Seems like no matter what your criteria is, City Snap can help you out. And up here on the second floor, we have a full floor primary suite. And what a nice second living area this is. This is the epitome of flexible space. Yes. You can use it as an office, you can watch TV, and you can still see your garden views. Here we oh, go. Such great light, first of all, but second of all, I love primary with outdoor space. We were looking for private outdoor space on the City Snap app, and here we are. You ready to see the mega outdoor space upstairs? Oh uh, yeah. Wow, this is even more than I anticipated. It's great. It's like an outdoor oasis. You have everything you need right here. And here we are in the heart of the East Village and you have views of downtown. You have the Freedom Tower, you have the Empire State Building. It's really, really spectacular. Okay, so I asked you if there was turnkey, top of the line everything, and outdoor space in this neighborhood, and boy did you deliver. It was all because of the City Snap app. We put in a bunch of features and this is what came out. Yeah, but it's not just like $7 million apartment. Whether you're looking for a sub $5,000 rental or you're looking for a $1.2 million one bedroom, you can find it on the City Snap app. Find your home in a snap, right? Look at you with the taglines. Hey. <laughs> Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we are at this West Village apartment with Hudson River views and then some. See you in a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in the West Village where we joined friend of the show, Brian Lewis, for a look at this bright and airy apartment that puts the iconic Hudson River at your feet. Check it out. Hey, I'm Brian Lewis, Associate Broker at Compass, and today I'm gonna to show you around 400 West 12th Street, Superior Eek. This is a three bed, three and a half bath dream home with great river views, and I cannot wait to show you around. Uh, actually guys, it's this way. <laughs> One of the things I love about this home is the way this hallway unfolds leading you to that river. Here in this coveted southeast corner, nearly 2,700 square foot home, the Hudson River is literally your front yard. An architect named Robert A.M. Stern, one of my favorites, built this building. It was inspired by the original Superior Inc. factory that stood right here. He used the same architectural elements, arches, high ceilings, big scale, made it feel like it's always been here, and the result is timeless. And you can really appreciate these grand proportions right here in this huge living room. This is a dramatic room with 11 windows facing the river. You've got multiple seating areas, herringbone floors, French doors onto a little Juliet balcony, and everything is wide open. The perspective here is grand, gracious, yet very comfortable. And nothing says easy living like this big old dining bar. You could seat seven, eight friends right here, enjoy a casual meal, showcasing this amazing kitchen, or have a more formal dining experience right here in the open dining room. And the proportions of this lofted living room are so large the owner 
created this divider behind this lattice work. So let us explain to you what she created. A bonus den. This is one of my favorite rooms because it creates a very intimate space for TV, for socializing. Where else do you get a room that's so large that you can create a den? Right here. Oh, we're done with the slow motion? Got it, but you know what we're not done with? This bedroom, this is the master suite. It's king size, got a king size bed, king size windows, king size river view, amazing walk-in closet, a bonus closet, and a five piece bath. What we also have is two other generous bedroom suites. They're big. They have great closets, they have ensuite baths, and they both have great views. One of which has a glass wall, so you can bring that river view right into the rest of the home. Pretty great. So I've had a great time today showing you around Superior Inc, 400 West 12th Street. And if you're interested in seeing this three bed, three and a half bath home with these epic views, then give me a call. Thanks for coming by. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we are just along the high line with designer Drew McGookin. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in Chelsea inside architect Thomas Heatherwick's distinctly shaped lantern house. Interior designer Drew McGookin skillfully incorporated his client's belongings with furnishings of his own design into the unique architecture of the space. The result is something chic, something exciting, and definitely fun. Enjoy. Hi. Drew Mugukin here to share with you a well-edited one-bedroom apartment at New York City's newest icon, The Lantern House, by famed architect Thomas Heatherwick. Let me show you around. What I find really unique or quite special about this home is this large, expansive living space. While it may not be a huge apartment, the living space reads and lives like a much larger home. We've got seating over by the window, we've got dining space, we have living, cozy TV watching in the living room. All of this functionality of living in one great space. While comfort was key for this client, he also wanted to make sure we were packed with wow factor. It's no secret that a true Drew Mugukin interior will resonate from place of pattern and color. This sofa in particular was a real leap of faith for the client. It's a sofa that I designed. It has an interesting edge detail on the sides and you see the lamps coming up. And then by adding a bold graphic pattern that resonates from black and white, so the push between light and dark really grounds the living space. From the sofa pattern, we moved into layers of texture and color and pattern within the other upholstery pieces in the space that all tie back to the colors in the client's existing art collection. And speaking of artwork, I even figured out how to make a seven foot giraffe work in the space. This chair is another piece that I designed, lovingly referred to as the McSwibble. What makes this guy a crowd pleaser is the ability to contrast the fabrics. So not only do we get texture and color in the seat and the body, but the facet detail and the arm surround gives us an opportunity to bring in yet another color. It's all a matter of creating balance and harmony. Thomas Heatherwick's renegade architectural style was the jumping off point for the design of this home. The exterior has been referred to as barrels, hand grenades, but the correct terminology for these windows is actually lantern. And the first decision we made was to install lanterns within the lantern. I saw the architectural lantern as an opportunity to create a seating nook opposite the dining room. In doing so, we selected these sculptural horsehair chairs from the client's existing collection. Rumor has it they were an original set of four and Angelina Jolie now has the other two. The charcoal gray that we painted the doors throughout the apartment became one of the big themes in this space. You'll notice it in the custom king bed fabric. You'll notice it in the slatted lampshades. We also chose a natural textural fabric for the walls to push back, create dimension and coziness. I worked with an artist to create this mirrored panel with a circular center that echoes the shapes of the pieces a client had collected over the bed. 
Now I'm a huge fan of an upholstered bed. We designed this one for the client and my favorite part is this wonderful gray nubby fabric which adds pattern and texture back to the space in a very subtle way. A rhythm also reflected in the city views. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was able to marry a client's existing collection of art and furniture to dynamic architecture, weaving in custom pieces of my own to create an overall beautiful home. Isn't that the point? See you next time. I can't believe the show's already over. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe, because we're going to keep giving you these amazing homes.